bit of a different video today. I'm just doing my makeup because I'm about to head up to London. I'm um, just doing my concealer. What should I do next? Uh, maybe I should powder. I'm actually working with Bourjois on this video and I'm going to be testing out their Rouge Velvet, the lipsticks. I've got a whole range here. I'm going to show you guys all of the colours. I'm going to choose one to wear throughout the day. Um, and I really want to test it out to see the longevity of it, just like how it's going to wear, um, how the colour's going to last as well. And I think this will be really interesting because since having Indy as well, being a mum, like my beauty routine has had to like change and adapt to kind of go with my lifestyle now. And so I feel like I need much more effective... Um, like long lasting products which are also simple in what they do like I don't have time to faff around <laughs> with makeup products I'm sure a lot of you guys understand that as well like with bourgeois lip products that I've tried before they usually um, do last really really long on the lips and um, yeah they just last all day so I'm going to be trying out the rouge velvets as well and let's see how I get on during the day so I promise I'm not going to take it off during the day and I'm going to be like eating drinking I don't know just running around town talking laughing <laughs> like kind of doing everything that you do during a day that can usually make your I don't know your like your lip products wear off let me show you guys this color range so here we go this is the color range oh my god because I love my news and these reds like a, a red could be lovely as well and then I love my dark tones as well um but because it's all day and I'm gonna be like I've got a lunch as well to go to I'll probably go for a bit more of a nude. Let's see, it's between fl Flaming Rose and Bric-a-Brac. These are the two that I'm gonna choose between. Ah, I don't know which one. I think we're gonna go for this one. It's a bit pinkier um, and it is more of like a color that I wear, you like, you know, running around town day to day. Flaming Rose. First I need a powder. So right now it's 10 to 11 in the morning. Just letting you guys know what time it is because, I don't know, it's just useful to know, isn't it? If you're wondering as well, my earrings are from ASOS. I love them, it's my first day wearing them. You would have seen them in my daily vlogs if you've been watching <laughs> my September vlogs. What I noticed straight away with these lipsticks is that I love the shape, but it's already kind of shaped um, for your lips, if that makes sense. Okay, this is the colour. Oh, I'll show you guys my outfit in the mirror quickly. I'm going to throw some sort of jacket on over as well, but earrings are from ASOS. Um, I'll link everything down below. My top's from And Other Stories, just a plain black turtleneck. Jeans are Topshop, straight leg jeans. I don't know what shoes and jacket to wear yet, but I'll probably show you guys that later. I'm going to finish getting ready, and then I'm going to make my way to the train station, and I'll probably catch you guys in London. First objective, to see how this lasts. Second objective is to find myself my winter coat. <laughs> um, I, I really want to go into And Other Stories, um, because I love ones that they have in there. So, yeah, I need to find myself a winter coat, and I would love to find myself like a Prince of Wales Czech blazer jacket as well. Um, so I might go head into Mango, and I really want a Dipti candle as well. <laughs> we'll see. I can already feel it setting. Like, it goes on really creamy, really soft and creamy, um, and I can feel it kind of setting on the lips. And it's still really soft, so... <laughs> Just got into Houston, heading to Gouge Street Station for lunch. So about an hour in, the lip feels really, really nice. Still really soft, so it doesn't dry really matte and like crusty. <laughs> like it's still movable. Let's see how it lasts through lunch. So I've just come out of my lunch and I was gonna like film me eating and things but because we were all chatting and um, it just it felt a bit weird to like pull the camera out and like film my lips <laughs> but how are we doing? It's still on, still going strong. I've done a lot of talking, laughing, eating, drinking. Um, yeah and it still feels soft as well. Um, now I'm going on a bit of a shopping trip slash hunt. Then whatever I do find I'll show you when I get home properly.
though I just got some bits from Muji because I just need a little bit of storage for the house and I'm just heading to and other stories now. So I'm in Mango and I found what I was looking for but I don't really like the quality so I might keep looking. It's very thin. Oh, I don't know. Hmm. She's very flimsy. Here we go. The mother load. Um, I don't know what they'll be like with me filming, so I'll do my best. <laughs> I love this colour. But I don't know if it looks a bit plain. Okay, I think it's between this one, which is more of a wrap one. You probably can't see because it's just so black. There, now you can see. But I think the other one makes me look a lot more put together. And then there's this one. I feel like this is more of a boss bitch sort of coat. <laughs> I really like it. I like that the shoulders are much sharper. So this is it properly on. I love it. I think this is the one. Let's ch check up on it. It's about, I think it's about half three p.m. I've not reapplied, not taken it off. It's doing well. <laughs> now, it's between, I really also want a red jumper as like a staple piece this autumn winter, so I'm choosing between these three. And that's the bebe. They're all so different. <laughs> it's probably like the bit in Devil Wears Prada, but they are all so different. <laughs> Like that's an orangey red, and this is a scratchy material, and that's a dress. This is the jumper dress one, so it comes really low. Ooh. Love the neck, love the sleeves. I don't know, it's just very heavy. Oh, I like this one. I love this tone of red. I think it's much more me. What do we think? I don't love the length untouched though. This one, I love the cut. I love the fit. But I don't, I don't know if I like the orangey. It's like a tomato colour. Oh, I don't know, it's not very me. Oh, such a nice material, that's so annoying. So, I was really naughty. I just went and got myself a mini diptyque candle because it's autumn winter. Now, I'm gonna go get myself a coffee. People. So, I've just got home. Let's have a closer look. It's 5.30 and this is how, let me go more into the light. This is how the lips look in. It's been hours and hours and usually I always top up my lip products. So that is, it is amazing for just applying it once. And like, <laughs> that's been it. And I've done so much today and I've been talking so much and stuff. So long lasting. It's just perfect if you're always like running around, if you're a mom or if you're, I don't know, just if you've got a really busy lifestyle. So I wanted to do a little bit of a haul and show you guys what I picked up. Maybe I'll do some cut. I want to show you it properly. So maybe, because right now I'm using my vlog camera. So I kind of want to show you guys it in even better quality. Yeah. Oh my God. I love the coat so much. I went to Muji and I got this because I thought this could be really good in my kind of like dressing room, wardrobe room, um, to put my sunglasses in. So I don't really have proper storage for my sunglasses. So I've got this. I'm really hoping that if they fit in here, because that would be really bad. And then I also got this one because it's for earrings and jewellery. They had one on display in the store with jewellery in and I thought it looked so nice. So hopefully these will kind of go together. And then I just got these two plain things for my bathroom because I've got loads of like random products around my bath so I just wanted to have a bit of organisation. And then I've got a little something from Own The Look. How lovely is that bag? Look at the colour! Look at this dress! Oh my God, it's beautiful. Oh, I'm gonna link it down below. I can't get over it, that is so pretty. Went in Pops into Liberty, got a faux de bois candle, the mini one. I love this. I wanted actually Ben, ben Juan. <laughs> um, I love that one, but they didn't do that one in a mini. And I just wanted a mini, I didn't wanna spend, I didn't feel like spending 40 
pounds on a candle and then you guys saw the coat this is the coat so i'll link all these bits down below it's just such a good staple investment piece for this autumn winter like uh, i've always kind of like skimped out is that the word <laughs> I've always kind of like skimped out with coat, like with my winter coat and been like, oh, I don't want to spend that much on it. And it's something that I think is so, I was in there for so long, by the way, <laughs> like the longest I've ever been in that store. Um, Cause I just think it's something you really have to think about properly. You have to like try it on, give it a good try. I think I made the right choice. I'm really excited about wearing it. A few times there was something that I, I kind of had my eye on, but I left it. And then when someone else goes up to it on the rail and then is interested, then it makes me want to like go back and get it. <laughs> is anyone else like that? If you see someone else looking at the thing you had your eye on, you're a bit like, that's mine. I think this lipstick's done really, really well. It's just, it's such a nice finish. It's nice and soft. It was a good day today. I'm really glad. I, I love like bringing you guys along with me when I'm shopping. Uh, in town i don't know it's just a bit different but let me know if you'd like me to do more of these because i could do them for when i'm uh, shopping for my certain um like staple pieces so i think that's it for this video thank you guys so much for watching i hope you're all doing really well i met some of you guys as well today in london i'll see you guys in the next one i hope you enjoyed it bye Mwah.